Margie Worthington podcast all day. All day. Dream by night. <laughs> Don't buy me a drink. Just give me 10 bucks. Yeah, all day. <laughs> Go down to the strip club with your floppy disk and turn it into a hard drive. Yeah, right. You'll get fucking thrown out by Big Tony. <laughs> We're here to name names and make people feel more ashamed for shit that they're not proud of. Don't blow it. Keep it simple. Count your money. No, oh, whatever it is. This is episode 84 with Return, guest of the show. <laughs> yes. Jeremy Smith. <laughs> Jeremy Smith on the show. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Thanks, mate. How are you going? Good, good. Good to go. Get a uh, second time on the show. Uh, we went through a lot of the stuff in the first episode about, you know, all the standard shit, what got you into comedy, all that mm. sort of stuff. Yeah. So we'll probably not cover off all that. If anyone wants to know more about Jeremy, if you haven't heard the previous one, go back and listen to that. It's up here. Yeah, it's a, it? <laughs> yeah well, I'll have to do it now. <laughs> Jeremy just creating more editing. That's right. Um, yeah, but if you um if you are listening to the audio only edition, I'll put a link in the bio to the previous episode. Um, but yeah, what's uh what's going on? What's what's happening in your world of comedy? Um, I yeah, I guess it's pretty pretty busy, Mark. You're coming up to the festival, you know, like yeah. um and and look, I, I'm I'm enjoying. Can I get deep and personal? I'm Go I'm really enjoying comedy at the moment, Mark. Yeah, my, my, comedy's a real. Hang on, we got to get deep and personal after 15 minutes, so we need to <laughs> no, shoot, I'm straight shoot. into it, man. I'm yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I jerked off this. No. Uh, um... And you still ca- you still rocked up to this. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I, normally people, uh, like after that post-nut clarity, they're like, fuck, co- fuck comedy, what am I doing? You have that ego death and all of a sudden you don't want anyone to look at you ever again. I was thinking on the way here... Um... That, that there were stories through the week that comedy uh, that Canberra has has uh, started those mobile phone detection cameras, mm. um, which I think generated a bit of controversy. Like I don't sort of pay too much attention to Canberra because I live in Queanbeyan. I don't, you know, every time I come don't to Canberra, don't listen to us peasants. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I wonder whether those cameras have ever picked anyone picked up anyone jerking off, like in the car. Yeah, you know I mean? like, yeah. Because um, you know, I, I assume the computer just, uh, uh, you know, sort of sees something happening. It can't tell the difference between masturbation and, and a phone and, True. Uh, uh, and then the what do the police do like, like mm. what, what are they you know they, well i mean that's not using a mobile device is it but yeah well I unless have... unless you had an accident you have like a prosthetic dick <laughs> that's electronic <laughs> that it is a mobile device, yeah and yeah, that, that is technique technically a mobile device i mean I, I assume that's still breaking the law but uh, yeah you can't but... play with any mobile device <laughs> any electronic devices well, any, I assume, you know, even without prosthetics, it must yeah. still be against the law to do that while you're driving the car. But anyway. True. But what a dilemma for the police that they would have to work through about how they deal with that, you know. Yeah, but also, um, why... Okay, so, first up, it, I don't really know the numbers here. But <laughs> people... Yeah, I haven't done the numbers. You, you know one, but yeah. <laughs> I'd be lying if if I didn't have a rough idea. But um no, I'm I'm saying I feel like they probably uncovered a lot more weird shit yeah, than yeah. they thought they would. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. like there's a lot of, it's a bit like if you, if they fucking trudge the ocean, they'd find some stuff they didn't they didn't want to know. Well, if you take photos inside the cabin of every car, you're going to come across a few fucking undescribed mysteries. Yeah. People just ride around with no pants on. Like, yeah, actually, yeah. I think I might do that now. I <laughs> like, that can't be illegal, but um, <laughs> um, but surely that would come oh, across. Oh, we a- found the loophole. <laughs> if you're going to use your phone in your car, do it with your dick out so they can't prosecute you because they technically took photos of you naked. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, this is a workaround. There we go. It's just like, yeah, look. Having a coffee. Yeah, exactly. And they also technically distributed. Dude, taking photos of someone using their phone if their dick is out is distributing unsolicited pornographic material. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's, it's like <laughs> revenge porn. <It's> <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. They wrote the laws to incriminate people that do that, and now they're also doing, doing that. It. Yeah, so maybe that's my approach from now and just driving no pants on. Did you hear that, Canberra? <laughs> Phone out, dick out. <laughs> anyway, I hope, I hope we've started something, Mark. That's I hate that that's your fucking definition of getting deep. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we went slightly off track there. Uh, okay, yeah, so what what was yeah, the in, actual... In comedy space, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying comedy because it's, you know, comedy's tough, like it's, you know, it's a real emotional roller coaster, but... 
I've been through phases where it's it's just um, yeah, yeah, it's tough. Like you just yeah, you, know, you have sort of no response or pretty ordinary crowd response, and then yeah. and then you have that sort of self reflection, which is uh, which is pretty hard. But but then now I'm, I'm in a process where, where I just I, I just love it. Like I love going there, and even if I don't get a great response, like it's still you know it still is a bit tough, but. But it does make a big difference that, um, yeah, that, that I'm just enjoying the process of writing and uh, and, and doing comedy. There's heaps yeah. of open mics at the moment. Yeah, everyone, you know, check it out. There's there's so much on it, and, and the quality of comedy is really good. Like, yep. you know, it's um, you know, mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, generally, like, the like, average is good. Whether you bring the average up or down, or down it's, depends it's on the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Depends on where I am. Depends on whether I go to the gang gang. But um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've you've done well there before, right? Like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't think I've ever done well there. Which which is part of the interesting <laughs> thing of comedy is, is that some places I don't you... think that room's ever done well. Like, I don't think I've seen it. Fucking oh, here we go. Chris Martin in the comments. Fuck you! I worked hard for <laughs> no. So um, no, I um, I feel like some rooms, the owner of the venue seems to committed to make comedy thrive, and I don't get that vibe from Gang Gang. I feel like they still feel like to me after like more than a year of doing it, seem to be still just giving it a shot and seeing how it goes like one advantage yeah. i've got in the basement even the pot belly being a smaller room and not as many audience members rock up to the pot belly but that's how it fucking starts dude yeah. like at least the owners of both of those venues legitimately back me and my decision to do comedy there yeah, yeah. like oh look yeah that, that's that's part of it i guess is you know that um oh yeah you know, I, I don't expect everyone who sees me to like me uh and you know there's there's different crowds at different venues and uh yeah it, it's it's hard to know why that happens like why you go to some venues and you just get nothing consistently yeah i think you've had you know maybe one or two night good nights at gang gang but i think generally like it's 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 so predictable it's it's that's almost funny like it's uh yeah uh, but yeah that, that's fine like i tell you what it go a long way at gang gang half a foot off the ground a bit where the comedian stood if you were just slightly elevated from the rest of the fucking audience to be a bit more elite than them to be a bit it's, yeah, it's a crazy stan hope said it when i pod, did the podcast with him it's crazy what that little bit of difference in height does to everybody mm, yeah like it's the same with the front you're on the same fo front does well and yeah, gang gang yeah, has yeah. its moments but i'm saying that there's just something about the like dynamics of just having a little bit of height over everybody else mm. completely yeah. changes it. Yeah, and, and and that's I probably said this last time, so I'm probably just saying the same stuff. But I, but it is interesting to see how comedy varies. You know, like um, like I did that show at the Durham, run by Sarah Stewart, which which was great. She just did a series of shows, sort of leading up to the festival, giving people opportunity to do longer sets. Yeah um and, and i did that one and, and the first half was was tough work like it was you know people were still having their meals people were still having drinks they were still talking the noise wasn't sort of conducive to comedy and so it was it was hard but then the second half that whole dynamic changed and uh and, and the second half was much easier to do comedy it was yeah um, and so you know, you know i find i think this is the weirdness of me is like i, I always kind of like how people people are quite different you know in terms of you know just that general diversity of people but but, but you see that play out in comedy uh, at a at a at a real time at a real time pace. You know, you're seeing it right there in front of you, and it's really quite fascinating to see how how things can change, how the way you know how people respond to certain things. It's really it's really incredible, you know. Um, and so, but but generally, you know, it's 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 good at the moment that, that, that there's lots of great comedians around Canberra. It's really nice to see. You know, everything like new people coming in having a crack you know the people who've been here for a while uh you know sort of refining their their art <laughs> art um <laughs> and and you know you're also seeing camera comedians who are doing quite well elsewhere you know you're sort of seeing um, frankie mcnair and uh, nick Schuler doing well and other comedians and you know other sort of regionally local yeah. comedians you know like dane simpson from Morgan. it's really great to see to see that process of people sort of starting to 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 expand and to um you know, to, to, to grow and to boom, I guess, is, I don't know if that's the right word, but you know, that's, that's really cool to see that. So, yeah. 
Um, oh, welcome back to ABC Classics <laughs> here on fucking we Dissect Comedy, where I just think that it's everybody beautiful. is good, Give me a that hug, they're just bro. having a go. Everybody's <laughs> just having a go, making people laugh, no matter how <laughs> old or young they are, which background they're from, they're just making it. And let's go to the phones and take a few callers. And <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's good that people who aren't very good, I mean, they're also good, because they make me look good, you know? <laughs> and I know that comedians... Uh, the Comedy com- community is quite supportive, but I think generally all comedians want everyone else to bomb, you know, cause, cause <laughs> <laughs> and they go, oh, well done. Good good, good set, man, good set. That was no, great. See, but what they really want is them to fuck up so that then w- when they come on, they look amazing. I'm the worst kind of fucking um, room runner when it comes to being too honest to, like, openers, to, to, new, to new people. Sorry, I call them openers because that's how they are to me. But, um, <laughs> no, but I look at... Like, someone will be like, oh, um, how'd you, like, what'd you think of my set? I'll be like, yeah, good um, material, but you had the mic, like, way out here. You need to pin that shit to, like, one If you spot. do that, you've got it all sorted. <laughs> like, just, we'll just start with that, and then we'll work <laughs> on the rest. But, like, like, but I think one thing I like to do um, is not give advice unless they ask me, like, how do you think I went? I remember um, I got pulled up by a local legend that told me, mate, if anyone listens to your advice, they probably fucking shouldn't. (laughs) (laughs) Is this life advice or just comedy? Just life life advice. advice. (laughs) Anything. A man with a beard like you should not be giving advice. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. don't share your fucking bearded wisdom with the people. (laughs) How am I meant to fucking sell out and you? <laughs> um, no, but it is a good point though. Like, I've never really tried to give advice um, unless people were like, "How do you think I went?" But in that case, I am honest with them. Um, like sometimes people will like legitimately like that, but other times people will be like, "How'd I go?" And if you don't say good, they get offended. Yeah, and and. Look, it's kind of nice. On one hand, it's nice. Like I, I've n- never had anyone in Canberra say I've done a bad set. But I know I've done bad sets. So I, and and I, but perhaps people are silent. If so, I who do from that. outside Canberra said it? You had to rule them out because you're like I've never had anyone <laughs> from Canberra. within Canberra. You had that caveat. Was uh, it? Was it somewhere? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm sure somebody. So 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 the Canberra comedy <laughs> Did you miss us, community is that was the yeah, best yeah, set. That's, no, she, she, what 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 my partner does is she'll come and she'll laugh at other comedians. Oh, but doesn't she laugh doesn't at me. like misses. And, and I said I, misses, and you corrected it. You're like, uh, no, no, I, I don't like misses. Oh, so. you don't? No, so, so but she, come but, on, but, just but, say it once, Jeremy. This, like, no, I don't. I can't. I just can't I'm bring misses. myself to say. It. Um, no, no, <laughs> there we go. no, no. I used to say it all the time. It's, this is an Air Force thing. Where, where okay. I was, I, sorry, I was in the military. Yeah, I don't sort of. Oh, fucking say. tell everyone. No, <laughs> oh, I was in the military defending the country. <laughs> The freedoms you have are due to me and the work that I did, oh getting drunk all the time. Um, You're um, the only one that was from the Air Force that called it the Chair Force? The Chair Force? Yeah. Did I call it the Chair Force? No, I'm just saying, like, most people are like, it's not the Chair Force, but some people in the Air Force are just like, yeah, no, nah, it is. <laughs> What's the Chair Force? I, I don't it's know. a slang term for, like, the oh, Air cause, Force. Oh, because we don't do anything, we're sitting in the chair. Yeah. Oh, right. I've never heard Fuck, of Fuck, all right, then, okay. There, there you go. Never um, mind. Um, oh, well, look, Mark, I mean, we go into the details of you know, strategic military policy and, and <laughs> how much the Air Force does compared to other arms of the force like the Navy. Anyway, I, so, so it, what was I talking about now? Fuck. Um, no, that was all the diversion. Um, what you, what oh, you're missus, saying. Missus, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 so the, 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 the military is, yeah, is a really toxic work environment. Yeah. Um, it's probably you know, ebbs and flows a bit. Uniformed or what were you doing? Yeah, yeah, I was in uniform. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and there's lots of things the military does, and it's it's not that bad. It's not a big deal, but 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 that I sort of don't like now. So it, it it was good but bad, and you know sort of pros and cons type of thing. But anyway, yeah. they do things like, like my last name Smith, obviously. Yeah. Um, and so I was perpetually Smithy amongst other nicknames. I I can go through some of those I had, but um, <laughs> um, but. But it's this, this, and, and this is probably an Australian thing. This is going to really yeah, not go well with people. But yeah, you know, it's 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 that Australian thing of endearment, but not you know sort of endearment through 
being really impersonal. I'm not, not using someone's name, calling them Smithy or Wertho or you know, yeah. that type of thing. Uh, and, and there's things now which... Editor's note, take that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, which, which, you know, it's just probably that normal aspect of a male-dominant environment, which, which, which now, now I don't. I don't do is it so I like there, there, there's people who I think commonly know like, like in my workplace as their last name like a slang like you know Smithy or Brownie or something yeah. but, but I just I just don't like doing it and Mrs is another one that I it's fine like there's nothing wrong with it but I just because it happened there a lot I, oh, I okay. don't do it yeah. your previous experiences determine your future yeah it's it's yeah yeah yeah, yeah I think so yeah like I um I object to it on really baseless grounds. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit like um, <laughs> really petty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, petty um, officer. Uh, that's right. No, um, that's, that's no, I get it, dude. It's one of those things. Yeah, you used to look down at petty officer. You know, fucking petty. It's, it's just a shit name too. Like petty just sounds like like oh, look at this petty fucking officer. You know, like yeah, well, imagine just like your first job. And they're like, oh, yeah, Petty Officer Smith. Oh, yeah, yeah how, what do you want me? You want me to fucking mop up this? So, so like, just, just to, just to correct for the record, uh, Petty Officer's in the Navy. It's oh, the yeah, Navy, yeah. yeah. Um, but, but what's funny in the Navy is that the first few ranks are seamen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you start off as a seaman. I think then you become an able seaman. Yeah. Then you become a leading seaman. Okay. So you've got three there where you need to work through, True. which are perpetually known as semen. Yeah, uh, which is a bit. Do you reckon that deters a lot of people that are eighteen deciding what they want to do with their life? You would think so, wouldn't you? But when I was in Wagga in the Air Force, which is a training facility where they train aircraft technicians, so all tr all military, um, what's the word? Personnel. The different uh, <laughs> streams, so yeah. Army, Navy, yeah. Air Force, go okay. there. There was a guy there, Seaman, Seaman. That was his name. Can you believe that? Oh so, shit! So he was he Seaman, Seaman. Then mm -hmm. he would be eventually able Seaman, Seaman, and then yeah. leading Seaman, Seaman. Like, so I don't know. Like maybe, I guess maybe he thought my mm. fate is sorted. Yeah, my name's Seaman. I'm going go to the for Navy. it. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. Um, whereas, well, yeah, maybe other people go, mm, I don't know. He just didn't want to have confusion, you know? Like, if he was like, oh, yeah, I'll go for, um, you know, like we're, we're saying, like a, di a different, different, um, a, a different umbrella. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, he wouldn't be like Air Force seaman. Yeah. So, so you know, like. It, yeah, in the Air Force, you're, you're aircraftsman. That's what you start off as. So, aircraftsman, seaman. Yeah. <laughs> that, that would Even work, if he got it? up, like, if he got like if you climb the ladder like imagine in like 50 years time there's like like um whatever it is leading aircraftman seaman yeah 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 it just wouldn't work so, so if he stayed the Navy, air chief marshal seaman <laughs> rear admiral seaman <laughs> yeah. well like so i've um heard of some names which was funny so um i worked with a guy that was um from the air force Oh, yeah. And um, he was telling me about this guy that um, his name was, um, he was from the army, he guy I worked with, and um, and he was um, Captain Cockburn. <laughs> 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 and uh, I said, uh, at least like, you know, eventually the, um, the name will change, like when he ch becomes like, up ranks yeah, yeah. and he's like yeah but it's not looking good for him because after this it's major cockburn <laughs> <laughs> so it's really not good he's got a few years still before it like yeah and like even like lieutenant cockburn like it just really i think the problem here is the name cockburn it's not yeah it's any rank in the military. yeah it's, it's it's actually no matter how you look at it yeah. um so yeah, getting, we were talking about my partner coming to... So, so I, I record my sets, right? Yeah. And so if Kirsten comes with me, um, I'll record it. Yeah. So I'm recording her as well because she, she, it's right beside us, yeah. you know, her. And when I'm up on stage, I yeah. can tell whether she laughs or not, you know, but, but I can see You know see her, her laugh, her. like, well, like plus, how plus penguins right. can t <laughs> yeah, pick right. the, the young from... My mother. Yeah, yeah, um, hundreds. And so I, I can go back and check how much she's laughed at me versus how much i've seen her like laugh at other people yeah. yeah yeah and she definitely laughs at other people do you feel like a cuck when she laughs at other people uh does that affect you what oh if, you know it just belittles me <laughs> yeah yeah in, in our relationship do you, makes me feel less worthy <laughs> so, yeah yeah 
No, it's no. Not. That happened with okay. So that happened with with me. I recorded because um, my my missus like she will laugh um, throughout the night at various jokes and bit. Mm. Normally, like normally stuff she hasn't seen before or whatever like that. Because she comes out to a lot of gigs. But I recorded Dom set for him. And I had to listen back to it to add to like to to edit it um, because I sort of did multi camera angle. It's like a full production that I run, um, and you know overlay the audio, all that sort of shit. And so I had to listen back, and I could specifically hear my missus's laugh next to the camera while I was recording Dom set. It's just, like yeah. I could hear it. I yeah, could tell. Yeah. And I was just like, I sent sent it. Uh, it's a dom and i'll see myself like oh there's your set you fucking cunt because like all i could think about is my missus laughing at someone else's set and i'm like no it's not right that's not right but it was just a joke between us because i was yeah. just like yeah i felt like i got cucked because i was like oh yeah I'll like here i'll here honey like watch watch someone else's comedy like maybe it'll give you that fucking laugh you've been waiting <laughs> for that i can't like achieve myself um uh, yeah it, yeah it's it's um it's mind you Do, we were talking about dom before we came on yeah. dom's very funny like, like he's a very funny guy it's yeah. a shame he doesn't do more comedy because uh, he's yeah he's one of those people that uh you know it's naturally just very funny isn't he like he's um, yeah well, naturally i guess mind I guess. you i feel like the personality that makes him funny is also the personality that makes him not want to do much comedy yeah maybe yeah like um, it's a double-edged sword yeah yeah i, I sort of love watching dom because you never really know what's going to happen it's always he doesn't of, either yeah it's always a bit of a roller coaster anyway he's, he, yeah, he's very good wild it's insane um but yeah like I, I do that for a lot of people though. Like I'll record sets, um, even just like from next to stage, people record. I highly recommend anyone records their sets. I reckon that's the best way to... Or audio. Like, it's, it's at least audio. audio. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I got into video more later because when you... Like, because I run the room, it's easier for me to set up cameras and shit yeah, because yeah. I'm there to do set up and I can sort of get it all sorted. But I still take my camera to other rooms. Dude, I... Um, reckon that i pick up more from watching the video yeah i'm to the point now where i'll watch if i watch my set without audio i can tell what bit i'm doing based on my gestures really yeah um yeah 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 video yeah without doubt video is much much better um i i've i've got an iphone 7 right okay i don't know they're up to iphone like 14 or something now. yeah well, don't I'm date like, the podcast this because someone could be listening to this in 10 well, years time God, well these guys <laughs> fucking hell um so, how so did my, these guys get on netflix <laughs> so, so, so my phone is my phone is middle-aged and so i i i, I i've recorded stuff with my phone but, but because it's a bit old it's not good so somebody recorded one of my sets with with their phone and the difference in quality was mind blowing. So yeah. I, I need to, yeah, I'm, I'm not very, I'm a bit older and not very tech savvy. Like, like you have your fancy GoPro, which is, you know, remote controlled off your phone, all this sort of stuff like mm. that. That's, that's mind blowing to me. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're on your phone. Uh, yeah. So, so, so I do, yeah, I, I agree. I, I do like to video record, but, um, but at, at least audio record because I, <laughs> I've had sets where I've thought I've bombed. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but then when you go back and listen to it, you sort of think, well, it wasn't too bad, you know, True. Uh, and so, it, and, and there's plenty of gags you sort of do that do forget. Yeah. 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 I certainly record all of my stuff. It's, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it helps a lot. Um, just in terms of remembering bits and going back and listening to bits and bits that you haven't necessarily written down, but cause, cause I also write all my stuff on my phone and I'm worried, you know, now that I've got an old phone that's going to shit itself, I'm going to lose everything, all of my intellectual property. Fuck. Uh, which is about yeah two notes i think yeah. <laughs> two notes how'd you fit it all in that <laughs> yeah, right. since that military training you managed to dot point it so tight yeah that's right yeah. um but see i use um i use google notes because it syncs with my google account so if my phone shits the bed i've still got all my shit yeah so you're just blowing my mind again right? yeah that's see, sort of too tech savvy for the me, advantage yeah. of that is i pull up my notes on the computer so i can edit them on the computer and it syncs down onto my phone as well wow that's that's technology it's amazing um yeah. I, I, I in yeah. in the previous episode i had laura johnson on yeah the reason i mention this is because one i'm aware that there's people potentially watching this probably just laura johnson but um 
I was talking to her about movies and we're talking about, this is like just in the green room at, at, at the basement one night. And I made a recommendation of the movie Twins with Arnie and Danny DeVito. They play as twins because it's just a silly movie from the from the 80s. Mm. And um, she was like, oh, I'll make a note. She pulls out her notes on her phone and goes to put it in there and somehow just fucking wiped her notepad. Oh, goodness. And I was like, oh, that's okay. It's probably synced with your account. How, how, just see if you can undo that. So I'm like trying to troubleshoot this. And she's like, no, it didn't work. So all she had in her notes after that point in time was just one note that yeah. said twins. <laughs> the most important. 1988 one. is when that movie came out. Oh, touching knees. Touching yeah. knees under the fucking twins. Dance. Yeah, twins. As soon as I said twins, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, we probably are closer to twins than they were that was the whole point of that movie because they were just so different in looks yeah yeah that's right yeah, yeah we, we could probably get away with it yeah. more than but this is the thing um when i explained that i use google notes and that's how i make sure mine's synced up um the same thing she was like whoa that's fucking awesome you she didn't swear because she doesn't swear but she was like yeah that's awesome See, I just projected my swearing onto her yeah. sentence, yeah. Oh, look, I'm pleased that she doesn't know as well. Like, I'm pleased that there's somebody, like how old's Laura? She's like 16 or 20. <laughs> She's very young, and so I guess... She's over people... 18, okay, just everybody before. <laughs> well, what have you done? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Um, well, I had her in here with me, I mean. <laughs> yeah, we're just good. sitting there doing the podcast together. I'm just like, I, without a guardian, I just had to make sure <laughs> yeah, that true. she's like... True. She was uh, here with, again, she was here, like... At her own will. She drove here, she came into the room, we did the podcast. Fucking hell. Good, good, I'm pleased. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm, look, I'm pleased there's a young person that doesn't know much about techie type stuff as well. Yeah. Like, um, um, Laura does improv, doesn't she? Yeah. So that, that probably explains it, I think. That well, she doesn't know much about techie stuff. She improv her notes that day and it didn't... didn't <laughs> it was more of a uh, no but than an if and... If, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. See. If and oh, so, so like, that's, that's like a logic gate, isn't it? You're talk, are you talking about a logic gate? No, or? it's that is it's also a logic gate. I think I confused it with a logic gate because it's not if and, it's um, uh, yes but, or something like that, or no, yes and, yes and. That's right. So yeah. the whole rule of improv is when someone said, well, apparently I don't do it, but if someone says something, they're just like I. I went to the shop today and you're just like, yes, and I bought right. ice cream. And then you're like, oh, yes, and I bought this. So it's all like, uh, that's how they build the story. Oh, really? oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whereas I was saying that um, the notes file was normally meant to say yes, and, but when she went to put that note in there, it said no, but. And that's that's the equivalent of deleting it. But you're talking about logic gates with like, um, like Man, scripting or whatever. Well, I mean, when I was at school, mm. which, which they still had blackboards at that stage, I have to point out, this is yeah. this is graceful. Um, oh, I know, right? Which, which I did maths. I did maths one and maths two, the, the, you know, the, the higher level maths. Yeah. Was, well, you wanted to be an um, you know, and, uh, fucking Air Force guy, so. Well, I want to be a pilot, yeah, yeah, so I had to do all that stuff. Did you want to be a pilot and then got into the Air Force, or you did you want to do commercial? What was your, like, when you thought pilot, what did you think? Yeah, no, no. So I wanted to be a pilot in the military because my brother was a pilot. So, okay. so I sort of want to follow in his footsteps, I guess. And uh, so, so, I mean, I, I was flying planes at school. Like I was uh, flying little uh, ultralights, they were called. And so I was, yeah, started, I, I could fly a plane before I could drive a car. Oh, so, shit. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. I wasn't very good at flying planes, though. But um, That's but not could, a thing I you want to fuck it. up. Which, which is probably telling in that that's probably why... I, I, I would never have made a good pilot. Like, I would have been pretty ordinary. Um, I, I probably could have done it in the military or flying airlines. I think anyone can do it. But, but I don't think it would have been very good. Anyone? Well, probably not you. Mate. <laughs> yeah, I was going <laughs> to. Unless you um, want to do a handbrake in the fucking. Yeah, that's right. Doing 747, yeah. Um, but, but it would have been very. It would have been quite. Um, difficult for me because i don't think like a pilot you know like okay. so, so what what i've realized since and this is this this is getting deep now we're 15 minutes in or kicking it oh well past so we're nearly at uh, nearly at half an hour oh, right. um, people are going to look at their counter now and if it's less than half an hour they'll be like what did they fucking edit out <laughs> that's right <laughs> it's a bit about Laura johnston being too young Marky. oh uh, yeah now i need to edit that yeah, out as well right. fuck um, all right i'm just leaving the whole thing in <laughs> fuck it 
Um, so I wanted to be a pilot. Part of it, this is this is I, I talk in my comedy about you know my mental health issues. Part of wanting to be a pilot was um, was an image thing. It wasn't that I wanted to be a pilot. It's that you know that was around the time that Top Gun came out. Right. And pilot's pretty cool. Like uh, yeah. Um, um, and so I think that's what I wanted. I wanted to be cool. I didn't want to be. I mean, it would be great to fly a military plane. But, yeah. but I think it was more about the image rather image, than wanting yeah. to be a pilot and rather than having the skills to be a pilot. Right. Um, I, in, in a job I've since had recently and within the last sort of five or six years, I was doing flights with people who are pilots to do mm. surveillance um, in marine parks. Um, and when we were fly, flying with them, I was on their headset because I had to talk to them. Um, and we, the, the route would take us via pr- pretty close to controlled airspace in Sydney. So there's Sydney Airport, right. you know, one of the, certainly the busiest airport in Australia. And the amount of information they were taking in as they were flying through controlled airspace in Sydney was phenomenal. So, you know, the tower was talking to them. They were, yep. you know, keeping track of planes. They were also doing stuff with the plane, obviously. Altitudes and all that <clears> shit. Alt- altitude, yep. That's one thing that, yep, speeds, all that sort of stuff. Mm. Uh, and what I realised at that point is that um, being a pilot is, is – it's rarely very complex information coming in. It's pretty simple stuff. Yeah. But there's lots of it. There's right. lots of different stuff coming at any particular point in time, and I don't think like that. Like I'm, I'm sort of, I sort of quite like complex things. Um, Linear though, but just one at a time yeah. that I can focus on, that I can get down into the sort of nitty gritty. Yeah, um, and processing lots of information simultaneously is is not what I do, and so right. so I, I never would have been. I probably could have trained myself to be a bit more like that, but but mm. it's not natural to me, and so yeah. So I don't think I ever would have been a good pilot. So it's a bit serendipitous, but um, interestingly, I, I I joined the air force with with a guy who. Um, so we went to Wagga with Abel Seaman Seaman. Yeah, remember that guy? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's great. Um, I've probably edited that out, but we'll leave it in now. No, you have to. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure you leave all my stuff in, so I'll just do this back references. <laughs> Callbacks, yeah. You just call back. Misses. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, masturbating while driving the car. I could just go on and on. Uh, <laughs> um, so I, I joined the Air Force with this guy called Steve. I probably shouldn't use names, but um, anyway, I joined the Air Force with this guy, and we went through – Aircraft, we were aircraft mechanics and we went through training together. And Steve was never a very academic guy. Like, like he was, he was, whereas at school I was pretty academic. I did pretty well because mm. I, because I like complex stuff. And anyway, Steve, the guy I was with, um, struggled academic. Like he, he didn't finish school. He went to year 10, I think, or maybe got to year 11 and then joined the Air Force. Um, and then when we were doing our aircraft training, he was, you know, he, he was okay, like he passed everything, but yeah. but you know, I think academically, I, I was doing better than Steve, right? And we, we would both of us, we would talk. You know, I would I wanted to be a part? That's why I joined, and Steve also wanted to do that as well. And that's why he joined. He, cool. he, he would have to go back and do high school and that sort of stuff. But anyway, I sort of thought, man, Steve, you're going to struggle, man, because you know academically, you're not even doing this aircraft technical training stuff. Like I, I didn't say this to yeah. him, but you know, this is what I was sort of thinking. Um, and I just thought, man, I, I, I don't know how you're going to do it. You're going to be really disappointed. Um, but you didn't say that to him. No, I just sort of you're thought. Like the, you're like the open micer that asked, oh, how was my set? And you were just like, yeah, good. <laughs> shit. No, <laughs> no but you were like, yeah, good, but you thought, nah, thought shit. Like, um, <laughs> yeah, so, so it was kind of funny. What, what's, what's amazing now, and this is quite mind-blowing, is that guy uh, is a fighter pilot in the Air Force. So he flies... Flew F eighteen. He's living your dream, dude. Well, no, I, I, it, it's at the time, yeah, a period of time that, yeah, it was my dream. But, but, yeah. but I wouldn't enjoy it now. I've got to say that. Um, he, so, so he became an F eighteen pilot, right? <laughs> yep. He was training people to fly F 18s Yeah. And this is a guy that you know, in nineteen ninety five, I was going, you aren't going to make it, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> See, I've got this theory down pat, but Steve, I don't know if it's going to work for you. <laughs> And before you know it, he's fucking Australian Top Gun. But what what Steve obviously had was the ability, to, yeah, to process lots of information, especially in a military context. You're processing lots of information really, really quickly. Right. And in a fighter fighter plane scenario, it, it's more 
and it's happening all a lot quicker. Right. And Steve just obviously had that knack, and uh, and I absolutely did not. Yeah. And I just thought it was about academia and smarts, and it's not smarts. It's it's a different type of smarts, and so. But anyway, yep. I guess it sort of comes down to like, um, like you you had like the theory side of things. Yeah. Sorted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, whereas to do the practical side, you were needed to train against what your natural ambition was. Yeah. Whereas yeah, he yeah, had absolutely. more of the natural ambition, but just not the book smarts. So, no, but, is what but, I'm assuming. But because like, he could take in more information at once or whatever. Yeah, and so, so I, I don't know. I mean, uh, at the time, he was <laughs> he was chasing lots of girls too. So maybe that's yeah. why academic it wasn't very good. Whereas I was never very good with the yeah, girls. Well, but, and so uh, perhaps he was just uh, just distracted just, by fun things. <laughs> it was, was no, he was just like. showing that he can focus on more things at once. He was again <laughs> outside of work. He was also doing work. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. So. He was quite. Uh, was he Quagmire from the fucking from, from Family Guy? The pilots just slinging uh, dick. I haven't watched Quag. Oh, so, sorry, Family Man. I, yeah, I don't watch it. Yeah, oh, okay, never mind. All right then. Well, there's a reference for everybody except for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Matt, mate, yeah. Uh, here's a side question. All right, given your experience and your knowledge, would Tom Cruise make a good fighter pilot? No, because he's a bit of a weirdo. Yeah, like yeah. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? You reckon no? <laughs> um, and, and, and look, I imagine he's imagine. like the fucking poster boy of fighter pilots, but fundamentally, probably wouldn't be good well, at it. Actually, in saying that, I mean, he's got his pilot's license and he flies planes. But but yeah, like I, I, I imagine I, I did fly that F eighteen uh, simulator once. So I did fly, it, but I crashed it. I think so. <laughs> but, Keep that one off the so, resume. Yeah. So, so look, I, I kind of so so. I imagine ego is a big part of being a pilot, you know, especially to get to that point, like the actual absolute pinnacle of flying planes, which is what, you know, fighter pilot, I guess, is okay. in some ways. And so perhaps in that context, Tom Cruise is very ego driven. Maybe that would help him, but maybe uh, he's like your can... mate. He's got the personality. He's just got to scrub up on the, on the, on the, the, on the theory type stuff. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that, that's, that's quite amazing. So yeah. Helicopters I... as well, or just like, what did you? What, what did I fly? Yeah. No, just planes. I, I, just planes. I, I think that's the one thing I would go back and fly would be a helicopter because they're yeah. kind of cool. But, uh, but, but it's still the same stuff. It's still um, being able to process lots of information. Call, the fairly. radio signals and shit would be the same, right? Like for helicopters. and Well, it'd be different, but you'd still it'd be similar. Inf- you'd be talking to the same control tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, you know, especially when you're sort of coming into you know, doing the land stuff. and yeah. Um, there's lots, yeah, lots of information. So that's and 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 even an airline. So where, where I could fly, again, I think anyone could. You know, fly a big airline mm. from point A to point B. I take off. I could land. I could do all the who's it, who's it, what's it things. That's a technical term. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is who's he, what's it coming into? Uh, what's he, who's it airport? Um, uh, what, altitude. What, what I wouldn't be able to do um, because it would just overwhelm me would be if anything bad happens. So, so if there's any emergency, True. that's when things get, in an, in an airline sense, um, that, that's when things get busy. Like I, I remember there was that Qantas A380 that um, lost bits of its engine and had to return to somewhere in Southeast Asia. This was a long time ago. And there was, I saw a doco on that guy and they talked about the process when that started happening, when he started getting these warnings and the actual workload that he was working through um, was phenomenal, like, you know, off the charts, the things he had to do to, to get the plane back to land safely. And that's where I just fall apart. Like, I just, yeah, I just wouldn't be able to do it. Like, I'd just be going, no, no I'm done. Over to you. I can hand it over to someone else. Um, and that's probably not what you want as Well, a who are you going to hand it over to? You're the fucking pilot. Well, the co-pilot. Like, a, yeah. So, so yeah. Anyway. <laughs> you, you, you hand it over <laughs> the, to the old the, mate. The, the, the hostie. Or I just put a call over. He's got... Saying, Look, I can't do this. Um, is anyone out there who wants to have a crack at this? Come, in, come <laughs> and have a go. And there'd be some little gamer who'd come yeah. in and he'd just do it. Like he just he, He's it. got the flight sim and shit. That's yeah, his that's time right. to shine. <laughs> oh, this is what I've been... Anyway, so, so that's... Um, that's only his version didn't have a firmware update, so it's like missing a button. Yeah, so, so yeah, he's probably like so. completely lost. Nah, see, yeah, nah, this one doesn't. Mine doesn't have this button here, yeah. so I don't know you have what to get to, someone else. Yeah. Meanwhile, you've got old mate um, Steve sitting next to you. He's got a fucking wait. He's got one of the um, stewardess on his lap, <laughs> That's right. yeah, and you're trying he's to busy. get his, get his mind over onto it. Come on, Steve, get back here, get back here. I Come need your on. help. Like, I need someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll be there in a second. Yeah, yeah. I'll just, you know, finish off here. The plane and the stewardess were both going down at the same time. 
Um, anyway, so, <laughs> so you can't focus on more than one thing at once. So you're like, if I don't tell him now, I'll yeah, forget. Yeah, right. So yeah, I so have to. See, whereas I'm, I'll like, I'll remember something, but I f- won't be like fully engaged in conversation while I'm still thinking about that thing in the back of my mind. So it reminds me of like, like for example, on your phone, you probably understand that if you, if you have multiple apps open at one time, like the shit you're doing in in the main screen is like not running as well because all the other stuff is open in the background that's how my mind will work right like i'll just divide my attention across multiple things but once it becomes too many i've divided it too much i need to start like closing off things that i've currently got open in my mind to like get focus back on the primary objective yeah Um, whereas yeah 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 yeah, a bit like that but but if i have another thing open that's it. The first thing closes. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> it's it. done. No, nothing's functional. And so, yeah, I mean, that's sort of, yeah. Coincidentally, our phones are exactly how we are. Like, I've got a newer phone that can multitask, and you've got an older phone that can just do one at yeah, a that's time. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's it. How yeah. start talking about that? Like, what were you? Oh, there's just. Sort of masturbating the cars. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So, we've somehow come a long way from. <laughs> coming a long way but um <laughs> yeah yeah and if you want to if you want to see more jokes like that we've got a show coming up <laughs> um yeah i reckon we'll, we'll what a segue we'll, we'll um we'll we'll do plugs now and then we've got a we've got a bit to get to after this so um i reckon we'll we'll um give everyone the dates for our show we got a show coming up in the canberra comedy festival on the 22nd of march at the Canberra Theatre in the street, uh, the stu- the studio. Courtyard studio. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Courtyard studio. Seamless. In the street. <laughs> <laughs> what was, the fuck? Yeah, so we smooth. were just going to, we, we didn't book it. We were just out the front in the street <laughs> fucking right. doing our comedy. Okay. Uh, no. Yeah. So we, um, yeah, Canberra Comedy Festival, Courtyard Studio, uh, 22nd of March. You'll be able to see Jeremy Smith and myself. Consistently different. I'm going to put the poster up here for everyone for the clip. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll be doing doing half an hour each, yep. smashing through it. Do you think that um, there'll be any crossover between us? I've been I've been wondering whether we should do something in in how we're going to do the crossover. Yeah, yeah, maybe the end would be good too, so we get us both out there. Both, I, I yeah, yeah. Do that, yeah. We can, yeah. Uh, I don't know, do a dance or something. Or, yeah, I, I, I did. So, so I, yeah, do a bit of musical comedy as well. Yeah, I thought it'd be great to do, which, which I'm not suggesting we do this, but yeah. I, I thought it would be great to do a duet. I think that'd be kind of nice. <laughs> but, but, but I haven't written anything. So true. Yeah, yeah. You know, it takes me about six months to write a song. So I probably haven't at this stage. Yeah, yeah. well, we haven't haven't quite got that time, but yeah, yeah. we never um, know. Yeah, like a ZZ Top type thing. Oh right, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 we should. Like, I, I'm really looking forward to it. Like, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. And, you know, I said it from the, at the start there, like, I guess you go through phases in comedy where you sort of feel I'm doing okay. And then bits where you're not feeling you're doing okay. And then, uh, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying comedy at the moment. And I'm looking forward to the show. Like, like, like I think it will be a lot of fun. Like, I, got, I think it will be, yeah, I think it will be good. Like, yeah. I think it will be yeah, it'll, nice be, to it'll, be and, <laughs> no, it'll be fine. You just no. downplay it every day. It's like, I think it'll be good. It'll be great. fine. I Sorry, think it'll, it'll be, be <coughs> great. It'll be great, Mark. It'll be know. okay. Yeah. It'll be passe. It'll, um, no, it'll, no, it'll be good. It'll be a good show. Like, I, you know, um, <laughs> great show. See, this this is the hard thing about comedy, right, is, is self-promotion. Like, uh, yeah. I, I know you do it all the time. You, yeah. you love it, but, but I but I struggle with the self-promotion thing. Uh, it's because I have so much of an ego that I see it. I like to do you whatever. You could be a fighter pack. pilot. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. oh, you reckon? Well, yeah, you, it turns out. It could be Tom Cruise, yeah. Yeah, well, well, there we go. I got the fucking height for it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Five foot fucking seven. Um, another thing I wanted to get into just before we leave, um, congratulations on Raw Final um, Heat winner, one of the Heat winners in the um, ACT Finals. Yeah, yeah, that, that's 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 nice. It's nice to sort of get that, and it's only a little bit of recognition, but it's you know recognition nonetheless. And it's nice to sort of get those things. And I think what so I was in it last year, I didn't get through. Yeah, um, and so I guess you have that, you know, you sort of win some, you lose some type of thing. But but what's nice is that yeah, you know, the quality of comedy at the moment, I, I think around Canberra is great. You know, mm. Some really good people coming through, and, and you know, a really good, fun bunch of people. Everyone sort of gets along quite well. And I think that's what I. It's it's a community of nut jobs. <laughs> mm. Everyone, it happens yeah there's there's a bit um what happens it happens nut jobs yeah 
That's not what Especially I Especially when you get your phone out in the car. That's right. Um, <laughs> Nut job. <laughs> no, everyone's a bit sort of left to center, which, you know, I, I guess, I, I think that's, you know, throughout my life. And this mm. is why I never would have made a good pass because I'm a bit <laughs> left of center. Um, but I've always been a bit, you know, a bit odd, which which now I'm sort of coming to terms with. And I think comedy sort of allows me to come to terms with it. True. I've been a bit, a bit weird or a bit, you know, not normal. Yeah. Which is kind of nice, and so yeah, I'm really enjoying. Kind of, I'm re- really looking forward to the show. I think it's going to be a great show. It's um, um, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, it'll be cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. So, grab your tickets. There'll be a link in the bio. Um, for for consistently different, twenty second of March, Courtyard Studio. Yeah, get your tickets quick before they sell out. Cool. All right. Well, we're going to uh, get into another segment on the show. This is um, our Ladies on the Loose segment. You might remember this part from um, the episode with Kai Fei. So we'll get into that now. If you're listening to the audio edition and you want to see the video, which will have the Ladies on the Loose thing, um, there'll be another link in the bio for the video part of this show. So click on that. If you only listen to audio, the next part is video. So let's get into it. All righty. Now it's time for Ladies on the Loose. This is where I select eight different mug shots and you need to decide who you think has committed or which crime the mug shot has committed. And you're ready for contestant number one. Okay, so we have possession of class three narcotic, homicide, driving without a license. Man, I don't know how people get neck tattoos. It must hurt, but I would go for um, <laughs> uh, a, a procession of a class three narcotic possession. Oh, Driving okay. without a license. Oh, see? Nah. Can't judge a book by its cover. Can you go on? <laughs> yeah, I know. Such a humble crime. <laughs> okay. Everybody's favourite Karen. Murder, drunk and disorderly, or DUI? Oh, look, I'm going to go for murder because the girl I first passed in high school, I think, got done for attempted murder, I think. It's... And she looked like that? Yeah, you were just, like just 16 and she looked like yeah. that? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, yeah, Unassuming. Okay. What do you mean? I just you know you does you when you saw she looked like a librarian person, you thought no it's not you couldn't picture that person doing murder but um but do you, I'm do you going know? for the thing that is most least like like that last person I would have done for drive without a license but anyway all right let's see what the answer is and I'll explain why it is murder yes, and do you know yes, why because yeah. those fucking eyebrows dude like anyone that yeah, just dastardly yeah yeah a- anyone that purposely makes their eyebrow look like they're about to <laughs> fucking ask you something like dr zeus yeah, mugshot. it's dr zeus's missus um but yeah the... and those glasses like they're pretty uh, yeah yeah, yeah she exactly like she, she, she mastermind yeah. kind of looks like um man in black like she's definitely got an alien like controlling her <laughs> yeah. yeah all right Contestant yeah. number three. Prostitution, public indecency, or possession with intent to deliver. Look at those gnarly eyebrows. Is that a thing like where they've got sort of different... It's definitely better eyebrows than the last one. No, no, so, sorry, eyelashes is what I'm talking about. Oh, those eyelashes, yeah. Where there's hair. Yeah, it's like Krusty the Clown's hair, but just in eyelash form. Yeah. You know, it's got the tuft in the middle, yeah, like hair that's... on the side. It's like... Or, or, or Mr. T. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, what you're talking about, Shaniqua? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do um, <laughs> prostitution. That, yeah, prostitu- a. Uh, yeah, Possession. That was my next guess. Yeah. With intent to deliver. Well, out of three, if that's your second guess, I mean, it's pretty easy to have two <laughs> guesses out of three. That's right. So, yeah. All right. Assault. Possession and trafficking of stolen goods or DUI. I'd go for assault for this one. She you reckon? Angry. Angry? Yeah. yeah. Sort of person that takes your apartment key when you break up with them and fucks your shit up? Yeah, I'd be scared of that. Yeah. Yes. It is assault. <laughs> I know, right? Some people, like when I when I um, did play this game with Guy, he was like, she can assault me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Assaulting a police officer, prostitution, or possession of marijuana. She's got a bit of an evil smile like the Joker. Actually. Definitely yeah. does. Yeah, that's the Joker's missus. And she's a redhead underneath. You can tell, like, it's a dark. I think she's actually a redhead, but her hair's just so fucking greasy, it looks brown. Um, she definitely thinks, you know, she's going to just walk away. Like, she thinks, ah, oh, so you think you've arrested me. Ah, well, so you I think you're smarter do. than a fifth grader. <laughs> yep. um, possession of marijuana, I'm going for this one. Correct. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, right. that smile. She's, <laughs> she's got the <some> munchies. <laughs> yeah. She's got that greasy stoner hair. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
Theft being most likely. Okay, so don't worry about B because it's, uh, yeah, we all know that, that she is the most likely to date Kai Fei. Um, and assaulting a police officer. You got a 50-50. Yeah, this is a bonus yeah, yeah. round. A theft a theft or assaulting a police officer? Oh, man. The neck tattoo again. It's oh. just a rose, though, or something. It could be a rose or like a that's fucking... Good, Do you reckon that's a rose? Looks like a flower. Yeah, yeah it looks like some sort of flower. Um, I'm going to go for C, assaulting a police officer for this one. Oh, theft. Uh, what? Theft. <laughs> She uh, stole Kai's heart. All right, next one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I already said that joke when I did it live. By the way, we played this live at the basement. Jeremy was out the back pretending to do his set. To a no crowd. <laughs> in, in the you, dark. Yeah. In the, back room. the great thing about the basement is the front room is where all the people are and the back room is basically practicing for the pot belly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's 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 very dark, and and I stand up the back in the corner, and people will come past, go to the toilet because there's a toilet there, and not see me, and I keep quiet because I don't want to, you know, be seen up the back in the dark. Because like you just want them to use the bathroom without thinking about you being there. That's right. <laughs> yeah, um, it would just be very awkward. Anyway, yep. Yeah. yeah. So Jeremy's seen this for the first time. Yeah, 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 I haven't done it. Yep. Yep. Well, I hope I'll be doing better if I'd done it before. <laughs> okay, we got assault with a deadly weapon, theft, or possession. Of an illegal firearm. Oh man, I'm not going for theft because you just had theft. But um, you don't think it happened twice? Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you, do, you do, think now is when I choose to be diverse with yeah, my fucking right. selections? I'm being yeah, All right. Uh, she looks yeah like she's got some attitude. I'm gonna go um, assault with a deadly weapon. You, t- you can tell her. You can tell her partner's a crip or some shit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. What are you going with? A, assault with a deadly weapon. Oh, what? It was theft. Ah, fucking bum steer. Yeah. All right. You're ready for the eighth and final? It is. Oh, she was up here before, wasn't she? Does it got to look like her? No. It's a, it's a, see, this is a problem, Jeremy. A lot of people see just a blonde and think, oh, yeah, same chick. <laughs> I, I scoured the depths of the internet to find every version of blondes that have done a crime recently. No, I just assume that once someone does a crime, they, you know, they do time for it. They just Re-affair. No, no, Re-affair. Re- <laughs> Re-offend. <laughs> no, uh, so just... you've got property damage, DUI, possession, and trafficking of stolen goods. Um, I go for C. C? Possession and trafficking of stolen goods. Let's light it up. DUI. Uh, yeah. it's, it's hard. Dude, all you needed to do, which you surpassed, was get three right. Did so I, three I did the tally, more than three. Um, yeah. So I did the tally of all of the people that um, put in answer sheets. And of the 24 people um, that answered at the basement on the last game, um, the average was 2.9 correct okay. answers. What did I get? Did I get three? More than three. I just stopped counting after three because okay. I was like, that's more. Oh, good. Um, I mean, it's we'll have the that. actual number here. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's hard. You know, like um, it's a pretty tough one. So, um, have you ever been arrested, Marky? I have not. I have not been arrested. Um, I haven't even been like and any situations where I'm like, oh, fuck, I could be arrested for this. Like, I've been lived a pretty clean life. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I was arrested once, yeah, a long time ago. (laughs) Tell us about that. Uh, If you can. Yeah, it was just, it was just, yeah, drunk and disorderly, plus a few other little things. I won't go into detail. A few other little things. A few other. Yeah, drive the car. It was just a night out, so so it wasn't wasn't like anything terrible. Oh, it was just a drunk tank type thing. Yeah, I wasn't like, you know, murder or... Yeah. Uh, uh, and, uh... Like assaulting a police officer. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. No, no. <laughs> nothing like that. <laughs> you was, just had to think for a second. I, I did. I did. Uh, so it was after John Butler concert and I, I was chasing a friend of mine with a palm frond, trying to whack him with it. You know, just as you do. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it was, you know, just all harmless fun. Um, but then when... So I had to go to court as part of it. Um <laughs> And the way they described the palm front thing sounded terrible. Like sounded, Assault with a deadly weapon. Well, they said, oh, people were fearful for their lives and he was almost whacking other people. And I, I don't really think that happened, but it did sound a lot worse when I you know, listened to it in court. The, yeah. the, the guy before me urinated on a church. 
which I thought sounded pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> but mine sounded worse. I, but I, I thought mine was pretty harmless. But anyway, yeah, it was yeah. just one of those things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> urinated on a fucking palm frond and then hit people with it <laughs> at a church. I didn't, I didn't get, yeah, that's right. Um, um, but anyway, interesting. Yeah. Oh well, that's our uh, ladies on the loose. Cheers for listening. Don't buy me a drink. Just name names. Yeah, some yeah right. Big Tony. You'll get fucking thrown out of the strip club with your floppy disk. Yeah, all day. Make people feel shame for shit all day. Yeah. <laughs> Don't blow Turn it. into a hard drive. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to Keep it simple. Count your money. That they're not proud of. Just give me ten bucks. Hey, right.